Alright, episode 10 of DC Character Histories. We've already gone through 10 characters so far. This character is an old one and honestly a big one too. She's got quite the history behind her and there's really a lot to talk about. So much to talk about that I honestly wouldn't have been able to fit every story in this video alone, but I did put in the most important parts. Now, as per usual, just before we get into the video, if you like this video or like my content in general, please leave a like and consider subscribing if you want to keep up to date with everything I got coming out. Alright, let's get into it. This episode is all about Mary Marvel, and she is the foster sister to Billy Batson, who is popularly known as Shazam or Captain Marvel. Mary, having very similar abilities to Shazam, is also part of the overall Shazam family, which includes Billy, herself, and other foster children who live with them who they all become versions of Shazam as well. Even though Billy tends to be the leader as Shazam, Mary is the confidant, the one who is sought out for guidance and advice. Even though she is young, she is still older than all the other kids. Mary Marvel was actually one of the first female spin-offs of a major superhero being introduced even before Supergirl. She also made her cinematic debut in the Shazam movie where young Mary is played by Grace Fulton, but when turned into a Marvel, the older version of her is played by Michelle Borth. Mary Marvel's story has changed multiple times throughout DC's history, and like I said, there is a lot to talk about with her, so let's get into her character data. Marvel Mary's very first debut was Captain Marvel Adventures number 18, which was December of 1942. Her real name is Mary Bromfield. Her base of operations is Philadelphia and Fawcett City. In the older comic books, and moving into the modern age, Fawcett City was where the Shazams were mainly based out of, which is a fictional city of course, but in the New 52 and the newer continuities, they're based out of Philadelphia. Her height is 5 foot 6, her weight is 139 pounds, eyes are blue, and hair is auburn. Her powers and abilities are the powers of Shazam, so strength, flight, lightning, invulnerability, healing, other magical abilities, and the easiest way to describe the powers of Shazam, they are basically Superman, but magic based. They are crazy powerful. They could fight Superman one on one, essentially. Her allies are Shazam, which is Billy Batson, Freddie Freeman, who also becomes a Shazam of his own, the Shazam family in general, the Justice League, and her enemies are Black Adam, Eclipso, and Apocalypse. More than Apocalypse is mainly Darkseid, she does have a pretty big run-in with Darkseid. So in Mary's first appearance in 1942, she was the twin sister of Billy, but was separated at birth when their parents died in a car accident. Sarah Prim was the woman that nursed the children when their parents died, but was on a deathbed of her own years later. She requested to see Billy and gave him a locket of a half-heart, stating that he has a twin sister who has the other half. Billy was participating in a quiz bowl or a spelling bee where he noticed one of the other contestants was wearing a locket of a half heart, the other half to his own. Billy and his friend Freddie Freeman, who some might recognize him from the Shazam movie as well, they were already Marvels and members of the Marvel family at the time, so they trailed Mary home in their superhero form. Mary was kidnapped for ransom before she could make it home, which prompted the two Marvels to intervene and save Mary. Mary from the criminals. After helping Mary, Billy and Freddy reverted back to their younger selves, and this is where Billy tells Mary they are brother and sister. Mary is of course shocked, but not just by the fact she has a brother, but by the fact that her brother is a superhero. Wondering if she could be a superhero as well, the criminals wake up and gag Billy and Freddy, keeping them from saying Shazam and turning into a Marvel. Mary then tries it out and says Shazam, and that is when she becomes Mary Marvel. She then defeats the criminals and saves her brother Billy and his friend Freddy. As time goes on, Mary Marvel finds out that her power doesn't actually derive from the main wizard Shazam, who granted Billy and Freddy their powers, but actually a set of female benefactors who gifted her the same abilities. Although years later in 1985's Crisis on Infinite Earth storyline, 
this iteration of Mary Marvel was completely erased from existence. So nearly 10 years after Crisis on Infinite Earths, in 1994, DC finally decided to reintroduce Mary Marvel in a graphic novel called The Power of Shazam. Her origin story was completely revised. Some things were similar, some things weren't. Mary and Billy are still siblings, but their parents are archaeologists. Mary joins her parents on an expedition to Egypt while Billy stayed behind. While in Egypt, their parents are killed by their so-called associate, by the name of Theo Adam, who happens to be Black Adam. Adam takes Mary and returns to America. Adam's sister, Sarah Prim, who happens to be a maid to a wealthy family in this continuity, learns what her brother did and takes Mary away from him. Sarah then convinces her wealthy employers to illegally adopt Mary as their child. The wealthy couple Nick and Nora Bromfield agree and now take in the child as Mary Bromfield. Now with Mary living a secure and wealthy life, her brother Billy, on the other hand, lives on the streets. Being granted the powers of Shazam, however, Billy searches for his sister for the next four years, but has no success in finding her. The only thing Billy has to remember Mary by is a doll that was sent back to their house when their parents died. Very similar to the original origin story, Mary as a young teenager enters a spelling bee in Fawcett City that Billy happens to be hosting. This is where Billy saves Mary from the kidnapper attack she faces after the contest, and where Billy notices how much Mary reminds him of his sister. Billy eventually finds out that she is indeed her sister from the help of an undercover cop and friend by recovering Mary's forged adoption papers. Billy tries to find a way to let her know and decides to take the doll that she used to own and bring it to her. Billy as Captain Marvel flies to the Bromfields estate to deliver the doll and the adoption papers. When arriving and turning back into the young teen Billy is, the thugs that helped Sarah Prim forge Mary's documents all those years ago gag and kidnap Billy. Luckily for Billy, he delivered the package on time which Mary opened and learned the truth of her brother. The doll suddenly turns into a life-sized tiger, and I would assume it's from the power of the literal wizard Shazam. He tells her to say the word Shazam, which turns her into Mary Marvel. Mary in turn saves Billy from the thugs and joins Billy as another Marvel in the Marvel family. Now in the 2000s era, following the same continuity of 1994's retelling, of her origin. In 2006, Mary Marvel was having a mid-flight battle with a fire harpy. She lost her powers mid-flight due to the fact that the old wizard Shazam had died and anyone gifted his powers would lose those abilities as well. So people like Mary and Billy and Freddy. Mary fell from three miles high, survived the fall, but ended up in a coma. Freddie Freeman would take care of her and spend all of his money for her care. A couple of months later when she woke up, the nurse had a note for her from Freddie that said, don't come looking for me. Mary also tried to call on her powers and was unfortunately powerless. Mary would then look to Madame Xanadu for advice. And if you don't remember, Madame Xanadu was actually mentioned in my Spectre DC character history video. Video. If you haven't watched that video, go check it out. There is a brief explanation on who she is and what she can kind of do in that bit. Mary knew that there was an abandoned Kondaki embassy in Gotham City and was drawn to it knowing Black Adam might be there and might have answers for her lack of power. Another quick break here, if you want to know a little bit more about Black Adam, I do have another DC character history video called Isis, where Black Adam is the husband to Isis and these two worlds combine because the Marvel family and the Black Adam family, they share the exact same powers. So if you want to know a little bit more about Black Adam, go watch that video too. So Madame Xanadu warns Mary not to to go, but she goes anyway. And when arriving at the embassy, Mary is cornered by a bunch of criminals who lived in the abandoned building. Black Adam arrives with raw, intense power, and after dealing with the criminals, chokes Mary with the intent to kill her. Adam begins to feel pity for the girl and decides to transfer all of his power over to Mary, where she becomes Mary Marvel again, but with the powers of Black Adam and wears a black suit instead of a red 
red one. Mary learns that Adam's power is much more intense, more than she thought, and decides to get a teacher to help her learn to control her new powers and magical abilities. She reaches out to the popular sorcerer Zatanna for help. Zatanna takes her to a place called Shadowcrest, which is a place that is used for training people in magic. When being trained, Zatanna refused to give Mary access to the use of magical weapons, and Mary mistakenly thinks this is because Zatanna wanted to take her powers for herself. Attacking Zatanna in this misguided place of judgment, Mary is soon after banished from Shadowcrest. Eventually finding herself wandering in Turkey, Mary is found by Eclipso and offered mentorship by her. Since Eclipso is a villain, which I have talked about this character in the Spectre video I've done, Mary is taught and influenced by her to go on a crusade of cruel and twisted justice, punishing criminals in a terrible manner. Mary and Eclipso's partnership soon ended when Mary found out that Eclipso was trying to prepare her to become a concubine to Darkseid. Realizing that Eclipso's corruption and the power of Black Adam within her was what made her much more ruthless, Mary fights Eclipso and diverts every ounce of energy she has into Eclipso. Both women lose their powers and fall into the ocean they were fighting above. Mary then finds herself washed up on Themyscira, the homeworld of Wonder Woman in the Amazons. The Queen Hippolyta, Wonder Woman's mother, recruited a powerless Mary and other warriors, including Harley Quinn, to fight Granny Goodness, the commander of Darkseid's army. Granny Goodness at the time was posing as the Queen Athena, and Hippolyta needed to remove her from this deception. Mary, Harley Quinn, and a woman named Holly Robinson, who at the time was the second Catwoman, they were all sent to Apocalypse to save Queen Athena. They ended up running into the Female Furies, who are a group of elite, super-powered warriors trained and led by Granny Goodness. They managed to escape the Furies, but during this time, Mary was experiencing voices in her head from the gods who gifted the powers of Shazam back to her. She gains her original powers, which helps her and her team save Athena from Apocalypse. When returning home after this crazy long adventure, Darkseid happens to be waiting for her. Darkseid reminded her of how powerful she was when she had the powers of Black Adam and manages to give her those powers back, which restores her costume back to black. Following this event in Final Crisis, which is an event that essentially deals with Earth's heroes versus Darkseid and Apocalypse, Mary Marvel is a corrupted servant of Darkseid. While she helped spread the anti-life equation for Darkseid across the world, she was also responsible for inducing Wonder Woman with a disease called the Mordococcus virus. A virus so deadly that it turns humans back to a primitive state of savagery. So while defending Darkseid's fortress, that happens to be centered in Bloodhaven, which is a city commonly known to be Nightwing's domain, Mary protects it from Freddie Freeman, who is a Marvel once again, Black Adam, and Supergirl. While Mary, as a servant of Darkseid, fights Supergirl, flying around the city, crashing into buildings, and damaging the city in other ways, Freddy catches Mary off guard, grabs onto her, and yells Shazam. They both transform to their normal selves, which removes the dark influence Darkseid had on Mary. Mary breaks down, crying over the terror that she has caused, but Freddy assures her that it was out of her control and not her fault. Now moving over into the newest continuity, New 52 and DC Rebirth. In this continuity, Billy and Mary are no longer biological siblings. Mary Bromfield lived in an abusive household. She ran away, was picked up by the authorities, and sent to an orphanage. She was soon adopted by a kind couple, Victor and Rosa Vasquez. They already adopted one boy who was Freddie Freeman and soon chose to adopt three more after taking in Mary. Those three would be Eugene Choi, Darla Dudley, and Pedro Pena. They all eventually become Marvels just like Billy, Mary, and Freddy. Victor and Rosa Vasquez decide to add one more boy to the herd of kids 
kids they already had, and this boy was Billy. Over time, Billy tells Mary and the others that he is a Shazam and can share his power by the will of the gods with them. Mary, Freddy, and the three other kids are all granted powers of Shazam. Now moving forward a little bit, the Shazam Who Laughs, an event that deals with Billy undergoing an unknown corruption that Mary must solve. This unknown corruption is in fact from the Batman Who Laughs. He is a cosmic level Batman from Earth-22 who has destroyed many other Earths in the multiverse, but I won't get too deep into that. Billy was behaving strangely and out of character and getting into arguments with Victor and Rosa. Mary tried to get Billy to open up with her, but he transformed into Shazam and left but not before telling her and the other kids that they are not his real family. The next day, Mary Marvel and the rest of the Marvel crew are helping save civilians after extreme damages that have occurred to their city. Mary suspects that Billy was responsible, so she ventures off to find him. Her search for Billy led her to a Greek titan named Atlas. Atlas warns Mary that Billy Batson was corrupted and is lashing out on any gods he can find. Soon after, she finds Billy fighting the God of War, Ares. And oddly enough, Mary comes to the aid of Ares and tries to help him against Billy. Although, Billy manages to defeat Ares and catches Mary off guard by convincing her he was innocent. With her guard down, Billy places a great blow to the gut of Mary and was capable of corrupting her with the same corruption that fell upon him from the Batman Who Laughs. Although the corruption of Mary and Billy was soon driven away, and the Batman Who Laughs plan to take over our Earth was thwarted. Shortly after, the Legion of Doom freed Perpetua, the creator of the entire multiverse, from her eternal imprisonment. If you want to know who Perpetua is, I briefly talk about her around the end of my Crime Syndicate video. With Perpetua's armies threatening our Earth, Mary and Billy assembled with the rest of the Justice League to fight off Perpetua and her armies. Well, there you have it. There is a brief history of Mary Marvel. There is so much to talk about her and so many things that I skipped over that just weren't as super important as what I got into in this video. I gotta say, when I was reading a lot of comic books back in the 2000s and 2010s, I never really paid attention to the fact that she does become Darkseid's servant. And I actually think that story is super cool because she would be a great addition to Darkseid's army because Mary Marvel is super powerful. She is on the level of actual Billy Bats and Shazam. They share the same abilities. Overall, I think Mary Marvel is a great character. I know she's going to be in Shazam 2 as she was briefly in Shazam 1, and I do hope we get to see more of her in the future of DC Cinema. Alright guys, but that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, once again, please leave a like and subscribe, and just as usual, I will talk to you all very soon.